in these situations, I'm always asking, as I'm sure you are, to, you know, qui bono, who benefits and why. In this case, it's worth noting, I suppose, that the psychiatric community, because they're medical doctors, they're the only members of the psychotherapy profession who can write prescriptions. Oh, and then there's, there's no question about it. That's part of it. This was their product in the marketplace uh, post-1980, and it was essential to this larger story of uh, you know, a disease model. But absolutely, there's a clear guild interest at work here. So, Robert Whitaker, what's next? I mean, we have this stunning, to me, turnaround where not only depression, which was always a highly ambiguous area for medication, but even schizophrenia and other serious you know, psychosis conditions are being reevaluated. What's next? You know, is, is the reversal of someone like Dr. Pai's a suggestion that there's going to be a major transformation? Because this information's out there, these admissions are being made, and yet surprisingly few people know about it. Are we in store for a psychiatric revolution? That's a great question, because there, there are a lot of admissions now from very high up people that this whole story that's been told in the last 30 years isn't true. So you have even, for example, Thomas Insel, the director of the NIMH, in other words, our top psychiatrist in the country, recently saying the disorders listed in the DSM, by and large, are not valid. They haven't been validated. They're not real. So we have this sense that the diagnostic manual is no good. Then you have a, a comment by Thomas Insel saying these drugs really aren't very effective. Too few people really do well on them. He recently wrote a blog saying, basically uh, citing a lot of the literature I had cited in Anatomy of an Epidemic, antipsychotics may impair long-term recovery for schizophrenia patients. Those are the comments of a, uh, of a psychiatry that's in deep crisis and in some ways intellectually collapsing. But well, I hope you'll stay on this beat because this is of critical importance. This is, to me, feels like a massive scandal that's not, that's not getting nearly as much coverage, and I hope you're planning to do some more uh, writing about it. Well, I'm continue- I have a new book uh, almost done, so <laughs> I am. Well, good. I, mean, I think it's one of the most remarkable scandals of modern times. 